Welcome back to Houston Life. So it might be safe to say there are two different types of champagne lovers in the world. <laughs> those like us, we like a reasonably priced bottle of bubbles, and then those who try to impress other people by paying way too much. I know, and although Derek and I don't like drinking one bit, no. we're putting our taste buds to the test. Can we taste the difference between a splurge versus a steal? Ooh, this is a good game. It is a really good game. We're gonna see, we have sommelier Andres Blanco from Caracol, who's with all the goodies and welcome to the brand new season of Houston Life. Hola, hola, congratulations. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Very excited to be here. Well, you know, uh, you know how to convince us to have you back by bringing bottles. So we're going to hand <laughs> oh, this yes. over. Maybe you can show us the proper way to open a bottle of bubbles to begin. The key is to just have your thumb on top of the cage. Uh, never take the cage out for safety. Uh, and all you have to do is unscrew these little six times. Wait, never take the cage off? Yeah, because this is live ammo, like Master so Sommelier's could, dad said. It could hit you in the face. So all you got to do is just put your thumb on top okay. and lightly little, do a little. Oh, ah, music to my ears, Andres. There you I go. Love that music. Sound. What are we starting with? Because um, we are going to start with, there's a difference between bubbles, right? The champagne, the sparkling wine. That's kind of what we're starting with, right? Mm -hmm. If I can pour you a little bit of yes. the yes, splurge please. champagne. Uh, so everybody's making sparkling wine around the world now, uh, but champagne is the classic region where it can only be called champagne there. Uh, traditionally made, you know, double fermentation, super full body, very creamy. And Tastes there's nothing wrong with sparkling wine, by the way, right? Because it, it used to be that if it wasn't champagne, ugh, you don't want it, but that's bologna, right? There's a lot of other countries that are making some top quality sparkling wines, including uh, Italy, uh, Spain, and of course, America. Mm. So this is the uh, L'Armandier uh, Benier, if you can put that there. So this is a right grower, now. this is a grower champagne. So it's limited, limited production, uh, very a lot of attention to detail because the grower himself is making the wine versus other wineries that buy the grapes and make it in large production. So this is a beautiful. This is 100% Chardonnay mm. and it's so refreshing. Creamy. It also seems 100% expensive, though. Am I seeing correctly the price here is $70? Yes, this is Holy a little cow. bit of a splurge. So that's the still, splurge. Okay. Which, that's still a good deal for a grower champagne. Uh, you can find this in a couple of great stores here in Houston, uh, especially uh, Houston Wine Merchant, which they have such a great access to a lot of distributors, and you can get your hands on this champagne. Okay, and the next one is Tattinger? The next one is Tattinger, phenomenal house, large tradition. Uh, this one, they make it, uh, champagne in larger production, but they keep it consistent quality. Mm. So you get a blend of Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. Uh, if it's, it feels just as good. Uh, but this Very one right nice. here, because of a more accessible, uh, you can get a more accessible price. Uh, and of course, at uh, Specs, and of course, at Caracol, we can find this one for a very good deal. And that one's about $35, $35. a bottle. Now, we're getting cheaper as we go down the line. Here's a $25 bottle and a $15, or uh, $12 bottle, mm -hmm. rather. So this is Prosecco. Prosecco is from Italy. It's a little bit less complex than Champagne because they only fermented once, big tank, and it's just supposed to be like a light, refreshing, easy to drink, nothing really huge about it, but wow. it's still a great deal. That is good, a little too easy to drink. <laughs> yeah, That's delicious. less effervescence maybe? Yeah, right? less effervescence because it's not double fermented like okay. Champagne. Uh, you it gets a little more fruitier, so if people like it a little bit more fruitier, less uh, easy to drink with some nice Bellini or a great Mimosa, okay. Prosecco can be the great deal. Uh, most of Prosecco, it's, on a, uh, it's a steal. Uh, and a good bargain, but uh, Carpene is the one of the oldest Prosecco producers, and the one we carry here, it's Cartizze, which is a single vineyard inside Prosecco. So Prosecco is mainly made all around uh, the, the Veneto area, but Cartizze is a little bit of a single area, so you get a little bit of complexity, and you can see the color I too. like that one better. Yes? I really all do. Right. Okay, we're moving along, and what is this? This is from Spain. Okay, uh, this so is Cava. The, this is the sparkling wine of uh, Spain. They cannot call it Champagne, so they call it Cava. Oh, that, that's why it's called Cava? Because yeah. it's from Spain. Mm -hmm. Yes, so this is from Barcelona. Uh, this is, the one that you're tasting is the splurge one. That's Juve Camp. It's uh, uh, a lot of tradition, lots of history. This is also Ooh. made in the same champagne method. So you can see the creaminess, the yes, color too. Yes, the color's different. And you can see the bubbles keep going up and down. Lots of creamy, lots of green apples. Very, very refreshing. This is a rosé. It's made uh -huh. with a Spanish local grape, a uh, red one. Cheers, Raventos is one of the most historical since 1497. Manuel Raventos was the one that invented the term cava and started creating the traditional method sparkling wine in Barcelona. And by the way, $12, $12. a bottle for that one. Really great. Lori really Riley, great $12. <laughs> really great deal. So you can get this great alternative to champagne for your everyday uh, uh, life. I love it. Okay, we've got to move along. What is this one? This one is the uh, one of the most respected wineries of uh, Sonoma. Okay. This is Schramsberg, one of the oldest also too. 
traditional method too. This one has really put American sparkling wine on the map because Schramsberg has a lot of great reputation, same great alternative mm. to champagne. And look at the price, yeah. and you can find these at all the great local stores. Okay, we're and testing to so see we which one we like better, which right? Which one is more expensive here? Yes. Mm. So this one is Argyle, the most respected winery of Oregon for sparkling wine. This one was made by a Texan, uh, Rolling Souls, but he moved to Oregon, to Willamette Valley. He's making such a lovely wine for all of us Houstonians here. And this one is the only winery that Wine Spectator has uh, in the top best 100 wines. Well, this is the one I like, the Argyle. Where am oh, I same. on that? Well, which one do you think is a little more? Uh, I think it's this one. Okay. No? What do you think? Feels more full body, more creamy? More full body, okay. yeah. Well, Give what us the price. Think? We're out of time, Andres. All right, we got $15 on that one right there. No so way. $15. Cheap one. $15. We'll there. Andres, thank H -E -V, you so much. total wine. You can find these great Love deals. It. You get all these glare ways to splurge. We're also going to do a little bit Facebook Live with you, too, to give you more information okay. about this as well. Thank you so much of for course, coming thank in you. today. Cheers. And cheers. cheers.